the will of the international community as already expressed in the vote by the overwhelming majority of this Assembly's membership is unambiguous, clear, and resolute. And I feel myself duty-bound to reiterate that will here today, as it cannot continue to go unheeded. The question before us is, what is the most effective way to achieve these goals? And in our judgment, it is the work of the United States is undertaking, both here and in New York, and on the ground. Look at our children. Look at Yazan. Look what agony they are enduring. Dozen more children who died of malnutrition have been identified. And many more have died and are dying in darkness and destitution. This has to stop, for God's sakes, this has to stop. Mr. President, our people are no lesser people. Our people are no lesser people, I repeat. Our children are not less worthy. Their lives are not less sacred. The dehumanization we have endured aims at making the killing of our people more acceptable. This week, the world will mark International Women's Day. Next week, the Commission on the Status of Women will convene to discuss the challenges that women face worldwide. Yet this year, the UN and UN Women's silence in the face of Hamas sexual violence turn International Women's Day into a sick joke. This is the peak of the UN's hypocrisy.